What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the middle term or middle terms in the expansion of x plus a to the power of n. Or we can say finding the middle terms in binomial expansion. If the power or index of the binomial n is even number, it means that we are having odd numbers of terms. So the number of terms is odd, which is going to be n plus 1. And therefore there is only one middle term. If n, which is the index of the binomial, is odd number, then the number of terms is going to be n plus 1, and that's going to be even number. So in that case, we're going to have two middle terms. So if n is even number, there is only one mid middle term, which is called n over 2 plus 1 term. But if n is odd, we have even number of terms, and we're going to have n plus 1 divided by 2 and n plus 1 over 2 plus 1 term. So that's how we find out the middle terms in binomial expansion. Let's see some examples. So the first example, it says, find the middle term in 2x squared over 3 plus 3 over 2x squared to the power of 10. So n, which is the index of this binomial, is 10 and it's even number. So n plus 1 is going to be 11. That's the number of terms. So we have 11 terms, so we have only one middle term. The middle term is fine by n over 2 plus 1. So it's going to be 10 over 2 plus 1. That's going to be 6. So sixth term is the middle term. So that's going to be 10C5. 2x squared over 3 to the power of 10 minus 5 times 3 over 2x squared to the power of 5. So that's going to be 10 factorial over 5 factorial over 5 factorial because 10 minus 5 is 5. And here you have 2x squared to the power of, uh, divided by 3 to the power of 5. 3 over 2x squared to the power of 5. These two cancel each other as you see because they are inverse of each other and the same exponent. Here 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial is going to be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 divided by 5, 4, 3, 2 which is going to be 252. So that's going to be the middle term in this expansion. Let's take a look to the next example. It says find the two middle terms of 3x minus x squared over 9 to the power of 5. Since n is 5, the number of terms is going to be 6 terms. So we have two middle terms. We already know it's going to be two middle terms. But since the number of terms is 6 terms, it's going to be two middle terms. So how do we find it? This n plus 1 over 2 and n plus 1 over 2 plus 1, which is going to be 6 over 2, 3, and 4, the next one. So how do we find it? It's going to be 5c, that's third term and fourth term, which is going to be, the r is going to be 2 and r is going to be 3. So 2 3x to the power of 2, negative x squared to the power of 9, that's going to be to the power of 3. And the other one is going to be 5c3, 3x squared, negative x squared over, that's to the power of 5 minus 3, which is 2, and 5 minus 3 is 2, this is 5 minus 2 is 3, and this one is 2, and this one is 3. So that's going to be 5C2 is going to be, we can use also the Pascal's triangle, 5, 2 is going to be the third term, 1, 2, 3, and fourth term is going to be 10, both of them is going to be 10. So 10, 27x cubed, x to the power of 4 over 81. Here, this one is going to be, again, 10, 9x to the power of 4, x to the power of 6 divided by 9 to the power of 3 is going to be 
729. So that's going to be these two cancel out. It's going to be 3. So 10 over 3. 10 over 3 times x to the power of 7. And here, 81. 10 over, 10 over 81 x to the power of 10. So these are going to be the two middle terms in this binomial expansion. Now, in this example, it says find the middle term in the expansion of 1 plus x to the power of 2n. 2n, it means that uh, index is even number. So the number of terms is going to be odd number. How do you find odd number? It's going to be n over 2 plus 1. n is the index. In this case, 2n we have. 2n over 2 plus 1. So it's going to be n plus 1. So that's going to be t of n plus 1. Then you have 2n, c, n times 1 to the power of 2n minus n times x to the power of n. 1 to the power of any number is 1, so we can get rid of it. And here we have 2n, c, n, x to the power of n. So how do we expand this one? That's going to be 2n factorial over n factorial over n factorial times x to the power of n, which is going to be 2n times 2n minus 1 all the way to n plus 1 divided by n factorial because n factorial with n factorial up to here is going to cancel out times x to the power of n. So that's going to be the final answer of this question. Let's see the next one. Next one it says find the mid midterm or middle term in x minus 1 over y to the power of 7. n is 7. That's odd number. So the total number of terms is going to be 8. So we have two middle terms which is going to be the 8, sorry, 7 plus 1 divided by 2, which is going to be 4 term, and it's going to be 5 term. So R is going to be 3, R is going to be 4. So it's going to be 7C3, X to the power of 7 minus 3 times negative 1 over 7, Y to the power of 3, on the other hand, 7c4, x to the power of 7 minus 4 times negative y over 4. So that's going to be 756 divided by 3 factorial. It's going to be supposed to be 7. So that's the third, that's going to be the fourth term and fifth term on 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 and 5, is good. They're both of them are going to be 35. So this number is 35, this number is 35. So that's 35, x to the power of 4, negative 1 over y cubed. So it's going to be negative 35, x to the power of 4, divided by y cubed. And here, that's going to be 35, x to the power of 3, 1 over y to the power of 4. So 35, x to the power of 3, y to the power 4. Find the midterm in x minus 1 over x to the power of 2n. 2n is even number, so it means the total number of terms is going to be 2n plus 1, which is an odd number. So the middle term is going to be n plus 1 divided by 2, n over 2 plus 1. So n over 2 plus 1, which is going to be 2n over 2 plus 1, that's going to be n plus 1. So n plus 1 term, so it means that r is n, so 2n cn times x to the power of 2n minus n times negative 1 over x to the power of n. So that's going to be 2n cn x to the power of n negative 1 over x to the power of n. These two cancel out and you're going to have 2n cn times negative 1 to the power of n. 
We can also write it as 2, fact 2 n factorial divided by n factorial times n factorial or n factorial to the power of 2 times negative 1 to the power of n. Next one, find the middle terms in the expansion of x squared minus a squared to the power of 5. n is 5, so the number of terms, so 6 terms. The middle term is going to be 3rd and 4th. 3rd and 4th terms are middle terms. So it's going to be r equals 2 and 3. So that's going to be 5c2 x squared to the power of 3 times negative a squared to the power of 2. The other one 5c3 x squared to the power of 2 negative a squared to the power of 3. So that's going to be the middle term on the fifth row. It's going to be 10 and 10. 10 x to the power of 6 a to the power of 4 a x 4 a to the power of 6 so that's 10 a to the power of 4 x 6 10 x to the power of 4 a to the power of 6 that's going to be the two middle terms of expansion of x squared minus a squared to the power of 5 next one find the middle term in the expansion of x plus 1 over x to the power of 2 n plus 1 2 n plus 1 is the odd number so if you want to find out the number of terms we have even number of terms so the middle terms are going to be 2 so one of them is going to be 2n plus 1 plus 1 over 2 which is going to be 2n plus 2 over 2 that's going to be n plus 1 and the next term is going to be n plus 2 so r is going to be n and r is going to be n plus 1 so that's going to be 2n plus 1cn x to the power of n minus 2n plus 1 times x 1 over x to the power of 2n plus 1. The other one is going to be 2n plus 1c n plus 1 x to the power of 2n plus 1 minus that one has to be 2n plus 1 minus n. So 2n plus 1 minus n plus 1. And here, that's going to be n. And here we have 1 over x to the power of n plus 1. So that's 2n plus 1 cn. 2n minus n, n plus 1 over x to the power of n which is going to be 2n plus 1 cn times x and here you have 2n minus n is going to be n 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 so x to the power of n and here is going to be 1 over x then so it's going to be 2n plus 1 cn plus 1 over x so these are going to be the two middle terms next one find the middle term in the expansion of 1 plus 2x plus x squared to the power of n. 1 plus 2x plus x squared is the same as x plus 1 to the power of 2. Then to the power of n is going to be x plus 1 to the power of 2n. So 2n is even number. The middle term is going to be n over 2 plus 1 in general. But here we have 2n. So 2n over 2 plus 1 is going to be n plus 1. So r is going to be n. So that's going to be C2n n times x to the power of 2n minus n, which is n, 1 to the power of n, which is going to be 2n x to the power of n, which is going to be 2n factorial divided by n factorial to the power of 2, because it's n factorial times n factorial times x to the power of n. Next one, find the middle term in the expansion of 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed to the power of 2n. That expansion is going to be x plus 1 to the power of 3 to the power of 2n. So that's going to be x plus 1 to the power of 6n. 6n is even number, so the number of terms is going to be odd number, which is going to be 6n over 2 plus 1. That's going to be 
3n plus 1. So r will be 3n. So that's going to be c, 6n, 3n. x to the power of 6n minus 3n is going to be 3n times 1 to the power of 3n. That's going to be 6n, 3n, x to the power of 3n. That's going to be the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to as soon as possible. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding binomial expansion and other topics in math, physics, and chemistry. Thank you for watching and have a great day.